Queen has made a remarkable comeback in recent days after triumphantly opening London's new Elizabeth II line. Her Majesty would have moved heaven and high water to attend the opening of the new underground line yesterday, following her appearance at the Windsor Horse Show just days earlier. As such, royal expert Robert Jobson has sung the monarch's praises, saying her recent public appearances were brilliant. He told GB News, Well, look, the palace has known for some time that they've got to pace the Queen. This particular thing for London, in particular, the Crossrail project is huge. Absolutely, huge for millions and millions of people. It's got her name attached to it too. You know, she would have moved heaven and high water to make sure she got there for that. And I think that the way she performed was brilliant as we saw at the Windsor Horse Show as well. He Invictus Games are a cause that's close to Prince Harry's heart. An international sporting event for wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women, they've been held four times since their debut in 2014. The fifth Invictus Games will take place from April 16 to April 22, 2022 in The Hague, the Netherlands, having been postponed due to the pandemic, and a spokesperson for the Sussexes confirmed to town and country that Meghan Markle will be joining Prince Harry at the 2022 Invictus Games for the first few days of the competition. En route to The Hague, the couple stopped in Windsor to visit Queen Elizabeth. On Friday, April 15, the Sussexes will reportedly attend two receptions ahead of the official start of the Games one for friends and family, and one co-hosted by the city of The Hague and the Dutch government for visiting dignitaries. On Saturday, April 16, the royal couple will attend the Jaguar Land Rover Driving Challenge during the day, and the Invictus Games opening ceremonies in the evening, where Prince Harry will give a speech. Their last joint public appearance was at the 2022 NAACP Image Awards, when the Sussexes received the NAACP President's Award. This will mark their first public international trip together since moving to California in March 2020. Meghan and Harry have a long history with the Games, they debuted their relationship at the 2017 Toronto Invictus Games, and during their 2018 Royal Tour of Australia, they devoted an entire day to the Games. They regularly attended events for the Invictus Games during their time as working royals. The lead-up to the 2022 Invictus Games will also be the subject of Prince Harry and Meghan's first Netflix project a docuseries called Heart of Invictus. The series will follow a group of competitors training to compete at The Hague, with Prince Harry set to appear. Since the very first Invictus Games back in 2014, we knew that each competitor would contribute in their own exceptional way to a mosaic of resilience, determination, and resolve, Harry said in a statement about Heart of Invictus last year. This series will give communities around the world a window into the moving and uplifting stories of these competitors on their path to the Netherlands next year.